What I want to do in this video is give a very brief introduction to the poly logarithm. And the poly logarithm is this wonderful, wonderful function uh, that has a bunch of really great integral properties, which makes it super useful all of the time. Uh, and so, first, so, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in later videos, but, but first things first, how do we think of this poly logarithm? What's going on with it? How is it defined? Well, first, let's remember our Riemann zeta function. So we're, you'll recall that our Riemann zeta function is defined as this series right here. Some n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the s. Okay. Um, great, that's our Riemann zeta function. And so how is this related to the poly logarithm? Well, the poly logarithm, which is written as li sub s of z, is a generalization of the Riemann zeta function. That's how I think about it. It's a generalization uh, because it's given by this sum, still n equals 1 to infinity. And we still have this n to the s down here. But in the numerator, we have z to the n. And so we see that for z equals 1, we get back our Riemann zeta function. But then we have these, the, you know, a whole, whole host of other values of z that we can consider which generalize, which, which give a whole bunch of different, uh, different range of uh, properties and, and values you can get. Okay, and so so why do well, why, why, wait, wait a minute, you know, why, why do we care? Why would we care about uh, generalizing this Riemann zeta function? You know, Riemann zeta function has enough mystery on its own, right? So so why, 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 why look at something that's even more complicated than that? Well, one, one reason is that derivatives and integrals are going to become really easy to take. It's going to be really easy to talk about shifting between different values of s. Um, and because of that, there's going to be a whole lot of uh, hard integrals that become easy to do once you look at it through this framework. And, and so uh, I'll probably stop here. This is a really short one. Um, and in the next couple of videos, I'll start looking into some of the properties of this guy and why. You know, why, why, why the heck did I actually introduce this guy in the first place? So, so, so stay tuned. It's going to be good.